The Kayola solar bus hardly gives a sound as it pulls up at the UNEP offices. There is neither a whiff of smoke nor the pungent emissions buses often leave in their wake in traffic. It is an electric bus and one of the star attractions of the Sustainable Innovation Segment of the United Nations Environment Assembly. The bus uses electricity for faster charging and can also get its extra energy from the sun using solar panels mounted at the top. It is manufactured in Uganda by Kira Motors, a collaboration between the government of Uganda and Makerere University. The bus drives like any ordinary automatic car with an automatic gear and two pedals for braking and acceleration. The two most important features, however, could be the dashboard panel, which shows you the gear you're driving on and the amount of charge the bus has left, and this lever which shows you the batteries to use. The bus takes a minimum of one to three hours to charge using electricity and depending on the charger used. It can also be continuously charged using solar. While all its eight batteries are fully charged, it can go up to 80 kilometers and has a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour. While the Ugandan company intends to produce these for sale, at the moment there is only one, this prototype. Within the next five years, this bus will be on the road and we'll have a price for it, a, a, a strategic price to capture the market. What ranges are you looking for? No, I, 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 I can't tell you right now because uh, that, that, that will it will be determined with the technologies in place and the skills we are looking at. <laughs> right now we are doing validation. <laughs> this morning, several of the dignitaries attending the UNEA conference took a ride on the bus. Environmentalists all over the world have hailed renewable energy as the future and imagining one where public transport is a system of electric and solar buses may not be such a lofty ambition after all. You're looking at uh, maintenance of the vehicle, fuel uh, of the vehicle, and such a vehicle which is using renewable energy. The, the total cost of, of operation is way, way low compared to an internal combustion engine vehicle. Because you're not looking at any fuel, you're looking at electricity. And electricity comparable to fuel is cheap. And there's no noise out of it. It is silent. So there's no noise pollution. People are comfortable in, in, in that bus. While not many African governments are known to invest in manufacturing vehicles and vehicles using renewable energy are also out of the ordinary, Kira Motors insists that this prototype is all the work of Ugandan engineers and researchers. It is quite unfortunate that we as Africans, we do not believe in ourselves as much as we actually can accomplish. And this is a testimony of what we can accomplish as Africans. We are, we are not limited in terms of our intellectual ability compared to our friends in the western uh, part of this world or in the, in the Orient. But we, ha we have the same skills and capabilities as engineers, as innovators, be it in any walk of life or any, any kind of, of thing we're involved in. And we have the capacity as Africans to actually develop these things. Such innovations are key at a time when the world is looking at solutions to the challenge of climate change, mainly caused by the use of fossil fuels like the petrol and diesel used to fuel our cars. One of the issues being tackled by the environment ministers and experts here is to make the environment healthy and in essence improve the health of human beings. Allow me to reiterate that healthy ecosystems are a global priority and I call upon all actors to come up with decisive measures and actions to sustainably manage, conserve and protect them. Innovative and sustainable means of transport in the cities are seen as a way of tackling global warming. And another example was this electric scooter, which hardly emits a sound or exhaust. At 60,000 shillings and with a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour, one day it may serve as a substitute to the ubiquitous Boda Bodas in the city. It takes around five hours to charge and can go for 60 kilometers with a full battery. It is such technologies that are being hailed as the way of the future because they contribute zero to no pollution at all. And they are just not any form of development, but sustainable development. Andrew Ochieng, NTV.